Hey everyone, it's Arrow Dragon, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Zelda, The Minish Cap. In the last episode, we got the flippers and gained the ability to swim. In this episode, I'm starting off tiny, so I'm using my tiny voice that I haven't used since Okami Blind. And we're gonna start by putting the flippers to good use. And tiny voice is over. I'm sorry to all those who re to those of you who are sad. Anyways, let's grab this heart piece that's what's taunting us. We have three now, fantastic. Also, if you notice my rupee cap... I had to hit the water first. If you notice, my rupee cap is lower than before. That's because I decided to go get some kinstones to try and get the one for library, and I actually did manage to nab one. And a hundred rupees! Amazing! Almost makes up for the money I spent. Okay, anything else here? Mm, doesn't look like it. But anyway, now that we have the flippers, there's a lot we can do with them. Like, we can get the heart piece, we can get that chest with 100 rupees, but... There's several places throughout Hyrule that we've seen we can do swimming that we just plain haven't been able to, so I say we dedicate an episode to good old swimming. I like swimming. It was one of my favorite things to do back at summer camp, just swimming in the pool or in the lake. It was always so much fun. Never been much of a competitive swimmer, like I'm not an athlete by any stretch of the imagination, but I do enjoy swimming casually. <laughs> Talking it's kind of kind of casual, just makes me think of TF2 and Overwatch. <laughs> and somehow, an, a conversation about swimming turned into FPSs. Only with Arrow Dragon, let it be known. <laughs> but anyway, I say we go visit Elder Library and fuse, his kin and fuse Kinstos with him. Well done indeed, why are you almost as surprised I was at that age? And let's just fuse Kinstones. And you should see one of them. One of the things I did, I managed to cut three pieces of grass, one had a green kinstone piece, one had a blue, and one had a red. I, that white picolite is amazing. And there's something over in the wind ruins. Another golden octorok. We'll go over there when we're in the area. I like the feather that Library is holding, it's nice. Okay then, now that's, that's done, let's go over to other places in Hyrule that we can now swim. First off, at Mount Crenel, not something we can swim in, but something indirectly related to swimming. Once you get the flippers, you can come over to Greyblade here, and he has a kinstone fusion for you. Like I said, the Blade Brothers kinstone fusions are interesting because when you fuse kinstones with one... Give it a moment. It'll open up a new area, and that new area happens to have a Blade Brother in it. And it's always behind the waterfall, isn't it? Why is it always behind the waterfall? Anyway, so I say we make our next stop Castor Wilds because there are a few things we can do over there, as you can see on on the map. There's something in the northwest and northeast. So, uh, yeah, how about we head over to Castor Wilds and see what awaits us? So first things first, how about we head to the northwest and get that thing we can now do as Minish now that we did that Kinstone fusion. And also these puddles are no longer an issue to you now that we have the flippers. And I love that we can swim. It makes traversing this area so much easier since I'm not going to be hindered by a roadblock every two seconds. Now I just gotta wait for that lily pad to come back. Any day now. It's like actually waiting for a bus or a train. They say it's not going to be late, but it happens to be late. Anyway, this chest contains a blue kinstone piece. Can't really complain about that, even though I have a ton of these. So yeah, now we just gotta go see what's to the northeast. Also, for the record, you can't use the flippers to get through the marshland. It doesn't work. Anyway, we come in here, and yep, there's another blade, brother. Swordsman is spirit! I am the finest, or maybe second finest swordsman in all of Hyrule! Scarblade! Training with me will forever transform your swordsmanship! So, would you like to train here? Yes! And I'll teach you how to more quickly unleash your spin attack, which I've already learned! It takes visualization training very seriously, I'll have you know! Now quietly close your eyes! Visualize your sword moving at an unthinkable speed! Whoa! Spinning! I just love how hammy these guys are. Mwah! Now you can perform your spin attack much faster, my student! This is the heart of the sword! All begins with belief, commit yourself to the blade! You can sp you have sped up your great attack spin- great spin attack charge! I don't want to hold the button down as long anymore. Unfortunately, this does not get you a tiger scroll, but it is immediately noticeable. So, yeah, definitely want to do that. And- 
Oh, uh, oh, wait, there's also something over here. Can't believe I almost forgot about that. It's a hard piece. Um... Uh, hmm. There we go! Heart piece number four. We now have 11 hearts. We're starting our second row, and that is amazing. Is there anything else around here? Uh, I don't think so. Actually, no, I think there's something for us as Minish on the southern end. I really hate that those things respawn. I mean, granted, we can't take them out, but if you appear behind them, it doesn't really do you much good. But I think there's something for us on the southern end of this place, if I remember correctly. Right, you can't get out of water unless it's sha unless you're in a shallow area. Right. Actually, can we swim through this as finish? No. So, gotta work our way around to the southern end. I'm going to ignore that rupee, just to make- just to drive the viewers mad. Cause that's just who I am. Nope, I'm not gonna do that. Hey, I was hopeful I'd find a kinstone piece, but no. Okay, but I'm pretty sure there's something for us around here. I mean, in our lily pad for that, so I guess I was wrong. Yeah, there's nothing else for us here, so uh, what do you say we move on? Over in South Hyrule Field, we can now do this. This had taunt- I think we can do it- yeah, this had taunted us before, but now we can climb down this vine safely, or just jump down, and swim through this area. And, um, uh, there's something over here. It's another piece of a heart! It's amazing how many pieces of heart are accessible to you now that, now that you can swim. It's just- it's pretty cool. Over in North Hyrule Field, we can now get across this this river we couldn't get to before, and come over here. Oh wait, we've been here. There's still the Highlands, but we didn't have the Cane of Akuna last time we were here. <laughs> this is kind of awkward. But anyway, let's see what's up here. There's a switch that now completes the bridge, I think. Yep, so we can now come through this area at any time. We theoretically could have done this ages ago, but I completely forgot. But anyway, there's something else around here in North Harrow Field. We want to head to the northeastern part of this area. Because there's an area I've yet to show off. We needed bombs for it. We could have done it again, could have done this ages ago. But if we came here ages ago, we wouldn't be able to do much. But now that we can swim, there are a couple things we can do around here. Veil Falls. First off, piece of heart, but also... Wait, is that something... Look at the size of that waterfall! Beautiful! Simply beautiful, my boy! Well, come over here! A bit of foreshadowing! Source of the flow! We we're gonna want to remember that for later. But anyway, let's just grab our piece of heart. That's our second one. And... Actually, yeah, that's all we can do right now. There's not much else in this area, so... Let's head elsewhere! Okay, over in Minish Village, it, now that we can swim, we can access a new area, I think. I think we can... I'm pretty sure there's an area we need to swim in order to get something. I think it's over here. Oh, there's a piece of heart here this entire time? I can't believe I forgot about this! I feel like a dummy right now. So you could have theoretically had four, four heart pieces before the first boss. But anyway, we can now get to this area. Good job finding this place. There are many people who visit me here. And... I think that's it, actually. He might have a Kinstone Fusion for us later. Oh, I don't really care, but if, it, if there is, just let me know, I guess. But since we're in Minish Woods, there's something else I want to show off. If you recall, when we were Minish initially, shallow water was hazardous to us. Oh, wait, 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 I'll get into that in a second. I want to check something. I need milk to continue the improvements on my... Oh, we actually do have milk! Yes, he's gonna ask for a few different items, and these can give you new Pico. Like, unfortunately, it actually takes a little bit of real time for the flowers to bloom, so we'll come back here a little bit later, but that means we have to get more milk, but thankfully it's pretty cheap. But it kind of sucks that it takes a little bit of real time instead of just leaving the screen and come back, so I'll, tr I'll check back at the end of the episode. Yeah. 
Anyway, now we can swim through shallow water just fine. And since we can, there's something we can go check out. We can get through this. Okay, theoretically, I could have exited through the north of the village, but meh. Um, is there nothing over here? There's really nothing over here. Wow, talk about disappointing. I am kind of disappointed, actually. They're, that looked like the perfect hiding place for something. <sighs> Regardless... Oh, I ran into that tree by accident and got a fairy, and there's a red cancel piece in this chest. I think I came through this area. Um... I don't really need that. No, okay. There's gotta be a shrink portal somewhere around that we can access. And be able to get over here, because there's stuff over here. Which I think it might be in like Hylia, which is which is a good segue because that's our next and final stop. There is a lot at, we can do at Lake Hylia now that we can swim. As you'd probably expect, it's a lake, so it's just water. And since we can swim, not only can we access not, we got a blue kinsel piece, it's pretty cool. Not only can we access the Temple of Droplets now, but now we can actually look around the place. We're not full, we're not completely restricted to that one area we couldn't do anything in. I, wait a minute, why didn't I just warp there? Yeah, it's too late now. Never mind, not too late now, because that's one way. So why don't we just warp to like Hylia to save myself a trip? So yeah, quite a bit we can do in like Hylia now that we can swim. As I said twice already. I think there's something in here. Yep, another piece of heart! Uh, oh, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to hook up my computer to charge, give me a sec. Okay, sorry about that. I cannot have my computer die during a recording. But anyway, we now have our 12th heart, which is fantastic. But unfortunately, we can't get to that heart piece yet, and we can't get over there because there's no shallow water for us to climb onto. Which sucks. Uh, oh, jeez. Um, I'll be right back. Really sorry about that. I had to take a quick bathroom break. But regardless, let's keep looking around. And oh, remember this from the Kinstone Fusion? I'm sure you don't. But anyway, this packed up. Oh, and that reminds me of something we can do in the Trilby Highlands. I think I'll do that before I end the episode. I'm going to have to head to the finish first anyway. But anyway. Come in here, and... A chest with 50 rupees? Very nice. And I think that's everything. Just a chest with 50 rupees. Yeah. Anyway, coming down to the southern end, we have another hard piece. Dear God. Oh, Link, come on. How many hard pieces have I got in this episode? I'll, pro I'll probably count during editing and put it up on screen. <laughs> We come into this here tree. Stop bugging me, you. Hey, moblins. Oh, thank you kindly. It's another blade, brother, and he also has a heart piece. <laughs> Seriously, so many heart pieces. You have found a true master swordsman of Hyrule, Wave Blade. If you train with me, I will teach you skills that make you a master. So, would you like to train here? Absolutely. Learn a dangerous technique for desperate times. The Peril Beam. First, you only have one heart left, and you must use your last ounce of strength to swing your sword! Oh, crud. I think I was supposed to grab that heart piece lit after this. Yes, the pose that shun, and he's gonna bring us down to, to an inch of our life, and we can shoot a sword beam when we only have one heart left. We now have an entire scroll, but I should probably warn you, you cannot get this technique unless you- Oh no, he did heal me. You cannot get this technique unless you have started your second row of heart- Heart containers. That means you need to have at least 11. Kind of sucks, but I guess there has to be some restriction to it, a technique that good. Okay, so next off, let's head to... Let's head to Trilby Highlands, but I guess I'll stop back in Hyrule Town to pick up some more milk, because th that stuff is handy. And wait... Uh, actually, no, I'll take care of it after Trilby Highlands, because I just remembered something I think I can do... He's got our moments. A red kinstone piece. Quite nice, quite nice. Moldorm. 
No mysterious wall here, surprisingly. And a fairy fun! Eh, why not? I'll grab one. As long as I have one empty bottle left, I'm fine. Okay. Now, there's something I want to do in Hyrule Town real quick. Okay, now that we have the flippers, we can come over here and talk to Epona! Please, buy some long, long milk for me. If you don't, my mom will be too heavy to on the trip home. Doesn't that just make you want to buy some? I'm pretty sure Epona has a kinstone fusion later. But anyway, I want to go check on the mi the Minish back in Minish Village that has the Pico that has the Pico blossoms. So we'll see if there's new Pico light. Oh, yep, new Pico bloom, yellow Pico bloom. So why don't we check in with Beetle and see what yellow Pico light can do for us? I saw that game. Yellow Pico light. Makes it easier to find rupees. It can, yeah, it can practically pay for itself, and it is kind of nice. Eh, you know what? Why not? Let's. I have I have one twice that, so why don't we give it that a try at my usual grinding spot? Actually, I don't have more twice than that. I feel like I'm gonna regret that decision, but anyway, let's over to Trilby Highland. Let's go on over to Trilby Highlands to my usual grinding spot for this sort of thing and see how profitable Yellow Picolate actually can be. So. Yeah. This is my usual grinding spot. Uh, I just gotta take care of the moblin right here. And he dropped another kinstone piece. Getting a lot of kinstone pieces off moblins today. Anywho, oh, let's um, give it a try, shall we? Um. <laughs> Okay, I underestimated the power of this stuff. That was pretty good. I made back my money and then some. So yeah, that actually can be a decent way to grind rupees. But anyway, now that all that's taken care of, that's all the places we can do things with swimming off the top of my head right now. I might remember new stuff later. But now that all that is done, we're coming up to our next dungeon. We have to swim around to it because those rocks are in the way. Coming up to the next dungeon right here, the Temple of Droplets, and check it out, it's a shrink portal. Shrink down and enter the Temple of Droplets. And we're gonna get started on this place. <laughs> it's free I'm freezing in here. If we don't find that element quickly, I gotta turn into a hatsicle. Hurry up, Beryl! Yes, we're gonna start exploring this place in the next episode. Next time on Let's Play The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap, we're going to get started on the Temple of Droplets. See you guys next time. Take care.